Hi there viewers, I'm going to do a little video on bicycle loads because in my little town I often see cyclists riding around at night with no lights and there just is no reason. Now, in one of my local stores, and you can get these on eBay as well, and probably many other bike stores will sell them, are these. Now in my local store they charge one ninety nine in British pounds for a pair. You get the red one, which is rear. The three light um, light sequences and the off. And you get a white one. I've got no white ones up here with me. I've only got the red one, but they are very easy to fit, you don't need any tools, and all you actually have to do, I might even be able to do it one-handed, is to sit it around your seat post like that, and then this stretchy rubber strap would hook over that little plastic clip, a bit like that. See, I can even do it one-handed. You just pull the light round to the right position and you've got a light on your bike. And you do the same with the front one on your handlebar. Or around your fork, wherever you want it. And they're so inexpensive. They are nice and bright. They use a 3 volt lithium button cell. Which most stores are cell batteries. Batteries. Bloody accent of mine. Uh, we'll sell them. They are easy enough to change. There's just a little cover on, on the underside of this. This is like a silicon sort of stretchy stuff. Pretty decent little lights. And I will buy a new set for this just to tie me over for the summer period. Because I don't use the bike that much at night during the summer, because the longer daylight hours so I don't really want to waste any money yet buying any decent lights so till then I'll get a better set or get a new set because I'm not going to put a dirty old one like that on there not when I'm putting all this much work into a new build I just thought I'd uh, demonstrate for people out there how easy it is to fit bicycle lights these days you know, your safety should be should come first. Yeah. One of these days I'll get my teeth in properly without fluffing my words. Anyway, moving on. You don't want to get hit by a car. I've been hit a couple of times. Uh, actually, neither of the times were at night and they weren't my fault either. Anyway, that doesn't matter. For the sake of a couple of quid for a set of these lights, why not? Why do so many cyclists still insist on riding around at night without them? Why, why do parents let their kids ride around at night with no lights on when they can just splash out a couple of pounds for a pair of these and their kids bike has got lights on them. They do, I do like the design of these, you know, they're not exactly ugly. Not like they used to be. I remember years ago when bicycle lights used to be big, bulky and ugly and used two D-cell batteries. Uh, I will talk about lights like that in my next video. That may not be directly the next video, but in a future video at least. So, uh, that's really all I want to talk about. They are pretty bright. They are pretty bright. I do recommend, if you just want a cheap pair of lights to help you be seen at night, get a pair of these. Or even get, for the price they are, get a couple of pairs. I've got about three pairs, which is actually quite handy. 
because I could loan them to my friends as well. If they bike over in the daytime, and say they don't leave until night time, but they've got no lights, I can just say, here, I'll borrow these. Slap them on the bike, and off they go. You know? They're so cheap. If they get lost or broken, who cares? Buy another pair. <laughs> but obviously, you don't want to break them too often, because that will uh, be more expensive. Yeah. I, I might actually keep a couple of these on here with a, a, a decent set of lights. I haven't decided what lights I'll get yet. I'll shop around. Because uh, my mum lives out in the countryside and I'll probably be cycling on dark country roads, I'm going to need something that will let me be able to see where I'm going. At the front, at least. Well, at the front, obviously. So, yeah, I'll decide that later in the future. Probably when I get a brand new set of pedals for it and see. I'm going to put a bottle cage on it. I don't really use drinks bottles, but they are useful to have on the bike. If you stop in, the sh in a shop and just get a small bottle of Coca-Cola or 7-Up or whatever, you know, the 250ml bottles, they will fit comfortably in a lot of bottle cages. So, yeah, they are useful little holders, if even if you don't use them for the intended purpose. So I have got a nice shiny aluminium one to put on there. Actually, I've got several bottle holders. I've got a nice one at the workshop at Mum's. Which I may take the camera one day and film the workshop at Mum's. Anyway, this video's gone on long enough. Seven minutes to fit a little light like that, so... Because <laughs> I'm rambling again. I'm pretty good at rambling, as you've probably found out by now. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. As usual, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Any comments, etc. in the comment section below. And I will talk to you later.